This week's uh, Webdvar, Purim Webdvar, is sponsored by Adam and Michelle Malik. Um, in memory of the respective fathers, Adam's father, Yosef ben Avraham, and Michelle's father, Pinchas Chaim Meir ben Kalman, may the Neshamos have an Aliyah. How many times in life have we found ourselves in a position where we felt that we were deserving of recognition? Be it at a job, uh, be it within a relationship, be it with friends. And for some reason, it seems that we're passed over of recognition. And we feel very down and we feel very sad about the fact that someone didn't recognize what we had done. In the third parak of the Megillah, we're told that Achashverosh recognizes and lifts up Haman. Achar hadvarim ha'ele gidal ha'melech Achashverosh es Haman. It's the first time we, we should all recognize this because it's the first time that everybody bangs for the name Haman uh, in the Megillah. But the words Achar HaDevarim Ha'ele really tells the bigger story. Achar HaDevarim Ha'ele comes after the story that the Megillah mentions where Mordechai saves the life of the king. He sees Big Son and Seresh. He listens to them planning to kill, to assassinate the king. He tells the king's people and the king's life is saved. Immediately afterwards, what should the king have done? What should have Ahasuerus had done? He should have recognized Mordechai, lifted up Mordechai, and given him some kind of recognition for having saved his life. Instead, what happens? He lifts up Haman. And Mordechai is just left sitting on the side as if he had done nothing. Imagine at that moment, part of Mordechai must have said, well, okay, of course I didn't want the king to be hurt, but to see his arch enemy, to see at that moment Haman be lifted and exalted, as opposed to Mordechai recognized for his hard work on behalf of the king, that must have been crushing. Nevertheless, at those moments when we seem to be passed over for recognition, there's someone who says to us, don't worry, your time will come. Don't worry, it's Mina Shemaim, it's God's hands at work. Don't worry, you'll be recognized. In this case of the Megillah, Rabbi Shmuel de Yuzida explains to us that that is what transpired here. Mordechai is convinced that Mina Shemaim, from the heavens, there is a reason why he was, was not recognized for his act now that he did for the king. Only later will Mordechai be recognized, which of course eventually leads to Haman's downfall and to the saving of the Jewish people. Had Mordechai been recognized now, then had Haman come a little bit later on, then maybe the Jewish people would never have been saved and we wouldn't have the holiday of Purim. Tremendous lesson from the story of Purim, which is the nace, the miracle, which had seemed to be a covered miracle which seemed to be a miracle, yes, that we see on the outside now when we look back at the story, but we really have to understand the storyline to see the miracle, to see God's hand within it, and maybe a lesson for us in life, that in life we need to look for God's hand in everything that happens to us. Sometimes it's not so clear. Sometimes at moments of disappointment we say, I wish Hashem was looking out for me. And when we think that way, we should remember the story of Mordechai and how he felt, and eventually what transpired, the miracle that Hashem performed on his behalf. May we be Zoha as people, as individuals, and collectively as Am Yisrael, that we have HaKadosh Baruch Hu constantly looking over us and that we're able to recognize the fact that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is looking over us. And in doing so, may we be Zoha, may we merit to have nisim, to have miracles in our lives that we can recognize and also that we can't necessarily recognize each and every day. Thank you for listening. Purim Sameach and a good Shabbos.